I am Muneo Shinumada from University of Tokyo. So now uh, we manage Disaster Management Training Center, DMTC. So we create a checklist for the shelter management with uh, COVID-19. So now I want to explain about what is crisis management, what is the important point characteristic of crisis management. Then I want to explain briefly about checklist for shelter uh, with COVID-19. Uh, this photo shows 1995 COVID earthquake disasters. After disaster occurred, after a big earthquake occurred, many people uh, come to school community center to evacuate. So then they have to stay some days until their house, their home, uh, safe situation. So this time now we have to solve this shelter management and uh, COVID-19 uh, virus. This slide shows uh, how we understand comprehensive disaster management. So to think about uh, shelter management, we have to first we have to understand comprehensive structures. So now we define the before disaster, pre-disaster, uh, we call risk management. Risk management includes mitigation, preparedness, and prediction and early warning. Uh, just after hazard attack, we have to understand damage situation, damage assessment, and emergency response, and recovery, reconstruction. This after disaster phase, uh, we can call crisis management. To understand comprehensive disaster management, uh, we have to think about risk management and crisis management. Okay, now I want to focus on the crisis management. So what is the crisis management? Uh, we can say important thing is respond in advance. If problems, issues occur, then respond. This is late. So that's why we have to think about what will be happen occur in the future, in the near future. Then now what we should do to solve future problem. So this imagination is very important. So to understand in to respond in advance. What people need after disaster, during disasters? First, what they need, what people need, what we need. First, we need life, our life. Then, what do we need next? House, safe place. Then, uh, thirdly, what do we need? money, job. So these three elements is very essential, uh, important point people need, we need. To prepare this kind of uh, response is needed. And what is a uh, characteristics of crisis uh, management? Now I, I can explain five points. One is, first one is make decisions based on inadequate information. Inadequate means not enough uh, information. Based on this not enough information, uh, you have to uh, decide, decide something. And second one is increase workload. So many workload and many type of different workload uh, work type is needed. So this is second. And then what is third one? There is not enough time to take action in quickly. And fourth one is strict evaluation by from mass media and uh, people by SNS. So we have to take a good communication with mass media and people by uh, in by good uh, information dissemination in the important time, important timing. And five one, fifth one is responders also in the victim or danger situation. If you are manager of the organization, you have to take care of 
the your staff. This is most important for the boss. So this five uh, characteristics is uh, important point under the uh, drilling crisis uh, phase. Now we DMTC defined 47 uh, functions. So now I just focus on the emergency uh, shelter situation, uh, shelter management. So now we defined uh, academic system research category. Uh, ba basically, we have to research uh, risk itself, risk studies. Based on the risk studies, uh, regional disaster and disaster management and governance and disaster information, uh, rescue and medical support and evacuation support for the victims and regional reconstruction. This includes housing recovery, reconstruction, and community uh, reconstruction or local industries. And then uh, infrastructures, civil engineering, and lifeline, gas, water, and uh, telecommunication system, internet. And finally, uh, financial, financial aspect insurance or financial resource, how we manage these financial resources, and Relief Act. So these are all uh, our research or academic uh, categories. So now we focus on the evacuation and shelter management for the COVID-19. Uh, this photo showed EOC during 2016 Kumamoto earthquake disaster. Uh, this town is uh, Mashiki town. So this EOC, local uh, EOC, many uh, other organizations support to them. Then Kansai Wide Area Union Mashiki town and Kumamoto Prefecture and government, uh, obviously, gov government organization uh, come to here to support our local government, uh, Mashiki Town. So now, what is the important point to manage EOC? So to manage EOC, uh, I can say two points. One is how we design information flow in this space, how we design information management. And second one is for effective or efficient work, we have to design the work line. That's why to design EOC, uh, we have to think information and work line. Uh, this slide shows the number of staff assigned for the different uh, response. A uh, first graph shows the number of staff assigned for the shelter management. And the second graph shows number of staff for the supplying food, water supply, or other materials. So this shelter management and supply, uh, supply material need so many staff. But third graph shows housing damage assessment, uh, not so many staff assigned. But this housing damage assessment only uh, can be by done, can be done by the local government staff because after damage assessment, housing damage assessment, local government uh, provides certification, certificate the individual damage. Then household, house owner can get this uh, document for the public important document. Then house owner can submit this paper to school, to the government, local government, then they can get a service from a public, a public system. That's why this housing damage assessment is very important, but not, not so many uh, staff assigned. So how we manage human resources? This is also important function. So this time, uh, shelter management is uh, very important to manage how to manage uh, human resources because this COVID-19, under COVID-19 situation, so many shelter is uh, placed. It means that we have to manage so many staff assigned. That's why this kind of thinking, how to manage uh, human resources, or is also important thing. 
uh, this slide shows workload. So left hand side show the Ishinomaki city during Great East Japan earthquake disaster. And right hand side show the Kumamoto city during Kumamoto earthquake disaster uh, 2016. So both of these graph shows showed uh, shelter management needs so many staffs and logistics and finally uh, and surgery information. Anyway, so shelter management uh, needs so many staff. Uh, we understand by this graph. And this graph also shows a different disaster. Our uh, first graph shows Kumamoto, uh, Kumamoto earthquake disaster. And bottom graph shows the Joso city. What is so many human resources is needed? It's shelter. This is same. So that's why to think about human resources, we have to think about how we arrange, manage people to the shelter. This is a key point. And this slide shows a classic city. This is all different disasters. In this situation, the big one of the big problem is how we manage human resources to assign assign shelters. So this case also uh, shelter management is uh, biggest one of the biggest problem after disaster occurred. Then now we have to think about a double punch of evacuation and shelter with COVID-19. So now we made a checklist. So what we have to think about in evacuation situation. So how we manage wide area evacuation and how we can ask to the people to evacuate, please evacuate, go evacuate. And how we take care of all people, vulnerable people. And after that, many people come to the shelters. How we uh, manage opening shelters. This first uh, opening is one of the important point. And after opening, uh, people uh, uh, get in the inside of shelters. Then uh, how we manage information. Who is here? How many people is here? So after that, we have to uh, manage information. This is also important. Then uh, we have to manage continue continuously. So one of the important points is zoning. How we arrange the people place. So zoning is also important point. And how we prevent the infectious disease. To prevent uh, COVID-19 victims, disease infection, infectors is important. Then how we manage garbage. So if we take off mask, but after take off uh, mask, how we treat this mask? Just throw the garbage. That's all. Is it enough? So how we manage the garbage? This is also important. And toilet, food, sleep, privacy, safety of evacuees, and hygiene and ma hygiene management and response to infection infection people. If once the people are infected, how we manage response to these people and how to collaborate hospital with hospital and doctors and how we share the different uh, shelters, how we share the information situation. So then finally, uh, closing shelters. So this opening shelter evacuation and closing shelter. So this this is a list uh, based on the Japanese knowledge, but maybe you can use uh, some point for your country. So if you find an uh, important point from this checklist, please use checklist and think about uh, in your country. So then uh, we can uh, prepare, prepare for the uh, next disaster. When we open shelter, when we, we have to manage shelter and COVID-19, preparedness is important. 
if we can we didn't we don't prepare uh, we cannot uh, respond for the actual disaster that's why preparedness is most important now okay thank you very much